Hi friends, in today's episode, episode number 11, we will be covering about the subcontracting process in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. So as you are already know that uh, we have been into our production control series and we have covered some of the important functionalities and the production order cycle and also we talked about in the last episode about the production floor management if you have missed those episodes please do check out the same before coming into this episode uh, so that you get a good understanding about what uh, we actually discussed over here right so let's quickly get into the presentation so we are in episode number 11 and uh, in today's episode, uh, the agenda is to cover the subcontracting process. And uh, we will also cover it in another session, episode number 12, where, uh, during which we will uh, cover about subcontracting a process using a bomb journal. Because uh, some in some industries, often I have seen that uh, bomb journals are also used to perform the subcontracting. So that we will take it up in as a quick session in episode number 12. But in this episode number 11, we will see how to use... Uh, the um, subcontracting process of uh, adding the item in the bomb and also in the operation so that uh, the appropriate uh, purchase orders can be generated so so the agenda for this session is going to be like first uh, we will quickly see what is how to do a subcontracting for an item so you can do a subcontracting for an item by procuring an item directly as a finished good from the subcontractor or you can also subcontract a specific operation let's say now throughout this series we are using an example of a man, example of manufacturing a shirt so let's say you want to perform a specific operation like printing a logo using a using a subcontractor so how to do it uh, rather than procuring a specific item so so there are three different ways or there is a third way that subcontracting a semi finished good or a finished good itself using the bomb so you just don't want to perform the production inside your premises but uh, you are doing it outside of your premises using a vendor so simply you need to move the material to a vendor uh, managed warehouse it can be a virtual warehouse and uh, this can be performed using a bomb channel so these are the three different types of subcontracting operations which we are going to see right so the first one is subcontracting an item so this is specifically for buying a subcontracted item and uh, so if all you have to do is you need to add this item in the bomb and then um, once it is added in the bomb it should be of the line type which is vendor so we also discussed about this in our bomb and bomb motion uh, d discussion i think which is in episode number three if you have missed it please do check out the same so the bomb line type should be of vendor so in this process we raise an automated purchase order based on production order estimation so so when you are trying to um, estimate the purchase uh, estimate the production order at that time an automated purchase order will be generated in the bomb explosion so we will quickly see that and once the GRN is closed after receiving the material from the subcontractor so you raised a uh, uh, purchase order based on the uh, based on the requirement from the production order and uh, you have to follow the same procure to pay process in order to complete the GRN and then uh, and then you need to use that material in your production order because it will be marked against the production order uh, which is actually um, create which was actually created and estimated the bomb contains lines of the line type as vendor purchase order for materials or subcontract operation services are generated and pegged to the production order so so we will quickly see this in the system uh, so the process will be like you need to add the item in the bomb and the bomb line type should be of uh, should be of the type vendor if you remember in when we created the raw material actually uh, one of the raw material actually we created of the line type vendor uh, we'll see that and production order estimate we need to do at the time of estimation an automatic purchase order will be generated for the vendor and uh, then the purchase order need to we need to follow the follow the traditional procure to pay process complete the pre product receipt and the and that particular uh, subcontracted item need to be used in your uh, uh, picking list posting let's get back to the system and then understand this so if you look at the finished good item i'll just go to product information management release products and uh, so fg shirt is the finished good item which we are using right from the beginning of this episode so for this item if i go to engineer and look at the active bomb versions so we have two bomb versions over here so let me click on bill of materials and uh, and 
we will navigate to the bill of material section so here we will be able to view all the bill of materials right so we already saw in detail about the functionalities of the the section and um, what exactly each and every uh, thing means in the in our uh, bomb session so i'm not getting into details of it but if you check the line details the line details we have a setup called line type so for a particular item thread what i have done is I have defined the line type as vendor and I also defined the vendor account uh, in our bomb in our bombs especially the in our episode or recording the bomb and bomb motion make sure that uh, we have already discussed about this this vendor account uh, should be an authorized vendor for this particular item so if I go to this item rm thread 1003 is an authorized vendor for rm thread so under purchase um so this is approved vendors so this is an approved vendor for this particular item so only the approved vendors will be allowed to be configured in the bomb if you want to configure other vendors so make sure that you go to setup you click on add and then configure the other vendors if you are if it is required and only the approved vendors can be assigned in your uh, um in your bomb line type so let me go back sorry i need to go back to the fg item so this is the fg item so i have assigned the line type as vendor and i have also assigned 1003 as a vendor account uh, for which an automated purchase order need to be generated when we do the estimation of the production order so we'll quickly see that i'll duplicate this tab i'll quickly create a new production order um, so i'll go to production production control production order all production orders then uh, new production order item number fg so this is the item and site 2 will prompt me to copy the versions that's okay uh, so let me create the production order so a production order is created 226 right so now what i will do is now i'll try to estimate this production order when I, so we are creating the uh, production order for one quantity for this item fg shirt now all i have to do is i'll go to production order and then i'll click on estimate so once i estimate d3 spy has to generate a, an automated purchase order for the item thread alone um, with the vendor account 1003 so in the production order um i think even in the view or yeah even in the production order if you go to bomb the bomb you have the details about the respective items and uh, you can see here that uh, for the arm fabric arm thread and the arm button so these are the three items which were part of our bomb and uh, the respective quantities are available over here one two and six and uh, so now what we have to do is here if you scroll right uh, yeah you can see here before the thread item alone you can see that an automated purchase order is generated with the vendor account 1003 but i am not sure why d3 to allow us to change the vendor here let us check once again no actually it's not allowing us it's not approved okay only if the vendor is not approved then d3 to is not allowing us that's fantastic but because my concern is d3 to should not allow us to select any of the vendors because um, at the bomb line level we have a control that only the approved vendors are allowed so here also d3 to has a process control that only the approved vendors can be used so here also if you want you can change it to any of the approved vendors um, which you have in your uh, release products so this is the purchase order which is generated let me uh, click on this purchase order directly it will redirect me to the purchase table so so this is the purge form so here uh, the purge form if you see this is the item number fine i'm curious to understand what is the price it has picked 1.53 is the unit price it has picked um let me go to thread i think it has picked the price from the purchase cost price let's see so uh, okay so it has picked the price from the price from the purchase but uh, the thing is actually it has added the uh, it has actually added the uh, profit percentage also 1.50 is the price and uh, also it has added a uh, the profit percent of uh, also to it so that's why we are saying that the value is 1.53 over here 
um, so to make thing further more clear if i go back and if i go to manage cost and if i click on view calculation details um, so we should be able to view it over here yeah so for thread so two quantity is required and uh, this is should be the cost estimated cost so in our previous episode when we discussed about the uh, when we actually discussed about uh, the production order cycle we discussed in detail about how this estimated cost and uh, we also discussed about the calculation groups and uh, how the cost categories and the profit settings apply to it please do check out the same um, in which we have explained in detail about how this costing happens so this is how the subcontracted purchase order is generated and you need to complete the purchase to um, procure to pay cycle and then uh, complete the product receipt and use the material for picking list posting so that's uh, that's it for uh, subcontracting an item so next thing is for subcontracting an operation so when subcontracting an operation or activities are used they affect all stages of the operation this is very very critical unlike um, yeah, subcontracting an item when you are subcontracting an operation let's say you 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 sue you are actually cutting a, the fabric and then sewing a fabric and then uh, for printing the logo you are sending it to a a third party vendor for a subcontractor vendor you are actually performing an operation using the external vendor so there are a lot of setups actually required and uh, to be honest with you guys actually subcontracting an operation i have never done in my um, as a i have never done in my career so i am even i am not sure um, how exactly this happens even i am also trying to explore it along with you so subcontracting the a root operation yeah, there are a lot of setups required in terms of item and uh, so anyway we'll try to understand what are the setups which are actually required in this particular um, video but uh, after going through the articles and uh, microsoft learn page what i understood is a separate uh, maybe a five six episode series is actually required if you want an episode if you want to look into a series for subcontracting the root operations please do type out the same in the comment section definitely i will try to learn and come up with a, a series of five six episode regarding a subcontracting subcontracting root operations okay so just to keep you informed about the same so the service product must be stocked must be stocked and it must be part of the bomb so let's get into the system also parallelly so for example right now we were looking into the uh, production order of adding the item adding the item but uh, at the same time if you want to perform the subcontracting for an operation um, let's say route this is the item fg shirt which we are using and uh, let me go to the route so here i have just added an subcontracting operation let's say before uh, to this we were having only three operations cutting sewing and packing so now i have added an intermittent operation printing also so for this printing will be performed using a vendor let's assume that uh, this printing operation will be done for a logo printing using a subcontracting vendor so all i have to do is after completing the sewing operation i need to make sure that the material of finished goods whatever available the semi-finished goods after sewing need to be moved to a vendor controlled warehouse or the vendor location and uh, until then the inventory should not be used in the system a uh, printing operation need to be performed a purchase order a service purchase order need to be generated for the vendor and uh, this uh, that particular service purchase order need to be gr and so that the, the material is uh, moved back from the vendor premises or the vendor control warehouse to our warehouse and uh, then then you need to perform the operation number 30 which is packing so that's the complete cycle of performing the subcontracting operation right so first of all uh, the first setup which is actually required is um, in case of operation printing you need to make sure that uh, under general uh, when you are configuring configuring the operations uh, for the when you are configuring the operations for the root make sure that the root type is vendor uh, that's the first point second point is in case of uh, resource requirements you need to have a resource uh, with the resource type vendor because you are saying that to the system that this is a subcontracted item and also a resource when, uh, in our resource discussion actually if you want please to check out the episode number um, i think episode number episode number five and six uh, if you check out these two episodes you will get an idea about what i am talking so so if you have a resource um, let me go to production control 
you can create a resource and assign it to your resource group so in the resource can be a vendor we discussed about this in the episode number 5 you need to create a um, let me click on new you need to create a, a resource with the type vendor and assign a vendor account so that for that particular vendor account when we try to estimate the esti- estimate uh, estimate a uh, production order estimate a uh, production order an appropriate uh, um appropriate uh, purchase order will be purchase, service purchase order will be generated right so but this particular vendor need to be assigned to the uh, assigned to the resource group um so so i'm just purely telling you what is the setup which is actually required and uh, if you want a separate episode to be planned please do let me know in the comment section and uh, and at the same time also we need to configure the cost group uh, cost group and assign it in the cost categories so the setup for the operation is configuring it in the root and then configuring a resource group and then uh, configuring configuring a resource and assigning it to a resource group and for calculating the cost because cost is also very important right so how do we co- control the cost allocations that are associated with the cost uh, subcontracted work so that is also very important so in order to do that first of all you need to create a new cost group uh, with the cost group type which is direct outsourcing so and this particular cost group uh, let's say uh, i create a cost group with v1 uh, vendor 1 and, uh, and direct and the cost group type is outsourcing and then uh, standard profit setting is maybe 5% we discussed all uh, about all these in the in our previous episode regarding the costing uh, techniques please to check to check out the same and uh, the cost group is v1 now all i have to do is i need to create a cost category and assign it you know, select default cost group okay group type okay let me keep this as stiff you must select a default for cost group type direct outsourcing okay system uh, i let me check mm. so even i am not sure about this particular uh, warning but let me check is there any other uh, direct outsourcing is available like i said because i have never done this particular setup before i am just trying to explore along with you guys and uh, here if you see the cost group need to be created first of all and this particular cost group need to be assigned um and v1 i cannot see v1 yeah okay it is in the top um okay so posting i think maybe posting i also have to check so sorry for this but uh, the thing is like this cost group uh, based on my understanding from the after reading out this entire article is you need to define a cost group and then the cost group type need to be configured in your uh, um, in your uh, cost categories so that the cost calculations up happen according happens accordingly and also what i understood from the article is like we need to um, move the material so the logistic requirements are also there right you need to move the material or the semi finished product um, the sew the sewed shirt the sewing operation which is actually completed for the shirt must be transported to the vendor site then the result of the subcontract operation must be transported either to the location that is allocated to, next to the operation maybe we need to move it to the printing after printing we have a packing operation which need to be performed right so either it has to be moved to the packing location or to the finished good warehouse so if it is if it is has to be moved to the packing location then we need to make sure that in the input warehouse so the input warehouse and the resource group that holds the resource must be vendor managed warehouse so if i go back if i click on uh, the resource group we have an option called input warehouse so we need to configure the input warehouse and the input location so for the next operation so that is also important so that's what system tells us as a configuration and also we have output warehouse and output location so i will also share this link um in the in this video description if you want to please check out this um, there is a detailed description given by microsoft but um, anyway i will try try to plan a session for this subcontracting for an operation in my future um future series um even i am also curious to learn about this so that's it for today's episode and the next episode we will quickly understand about the bomb journals and uh, because that we will take it up as a separate episode as a subcontracting process part 2 if you are 
if you want to get regular updates please make sure that uh, you subscribe to my channel shiram sevashankaran d3 sway talks or make sure that you follow my profile in linkedin thank you